All right, everyone, I'm going to give you an in-depth review of a 2021 Volvo VNL tractor. This one obviously is an Amazon truck. If you watched my previous video, um, I talked about the natural gas a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that natural gas right now. A couple things I was thinking about. This holds about 100 gallons or so. Uh, right now, natural gas is $2.39 per gallon, which is cheaper than diesel fuel. The only thing is when it comes to being a driver, it's one of my many jobs that I do, um, it, it's, it's harder to find places to fuel these. You can't just fuel these anywhere. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. Um, but that's my thing. I'm gonna show you the engine of this real quick. These Volvos are pretty cool. They're one of the only trucks I know that actually has a hood release under here. And then we just lift it up. Remember, when you lift the hood of a truck, you never lift it from the front, you always lift it from the side. That way you don't hurt your back. Um, this is a Cummings natural gas engine. It is a turbo diesel. I'll go around the other side and show you the turbo. I'm not going to get too much into the engine. Uh, one thing about these trucks, natural gas engines, they have a tendency to burn more oil than not. You can see the little tiny turbo on this thing too. For a truck, that is small. Um, usually like, you know, your, your bigger tractors, they have bigger turbos, but that thing is tiny for a truck. Um, I think these are around... 400 horsepower ish something like that let's close this hood up make sure it's closed good i am doing this video by myself so the quality is not going to be that great but we're actually getting uh rid of these trucks today so i figured i'd give you a little tour um one cool thing about these is this particular one's automatic and let me tell you what that is pretty cool so now uh, we have our tilt wheel tilt wheel on these is on the pedal on the floor one thing i really like about these is that the dashboard gives you a lot of cool information remember now when you start a truck or any type of diesel you want it to cycle through before you actually start it so if you can hear that engine it is kind of quiet which is nice We have hill disabled. We'll get into, we'll get into some of these features in a minute, but I want to I want to get to uh, to everything here. Starting on the left side, we have our headlights, our dash indicators, our four ways. This is our lights for the back. Uh, that'll turn on our back lights. This is pretty cool. This is a test feature, so we can actually test our exterior lights. And the cool thing about this truck is it'll actually send you. Um, a basic pre-trip inspection right on the screen so you could actually see and, and um, understand like hey I gotta check all this stuff which is kind of neat uh, when you have a trailer hooked to it it will also um, do the lights of the trailer this particular truck has power windows power mirrors that up here is actually your uh, meter mirror heater what that'll do is actually put a heater on the back of the mirror. So in the rain and the snow, you can actually have a uh, heated mirror on that. Only thing I don't like about it is it really doesn't tell you if it's on or off. So you gotta kinda remember if you push it on or off. Volvo door handles are neat. Um, these you pull back to open the door and you can actually lock it by pushing it forward, which will lock both sides. So if you see here, if I pull once, it doesn't unlock, but if I hit, it unlocks both of them, which I think is kinda neat. Um, this particular truck has a collision mitigation system. Some people don't like that, but I think it's a good thing. So when you run with your cruise control on, cruise control works just like works just like a car. Hear the distant alert thing going off? Um, that's because it's letting you know that hey, our uh, collision mitigation system is on and it's working. So our cruise control, you just like a car, on and set to the speed. But what this does, it'll actually have that smart following distance. So you could be behind someone doing 45, it's gonna keep a nice safe distance there and you're not gonna be super close to them. If you get too close, the truck will start to beep at you. If you get super, super close, there's actually a light on the dashboard. This thing actually lights up a light to let you know it's a, like a red bar. Hey, you're too close, back off, and it gets louder and louder. This has two horns, they have a city horn and an air horn, which is kind of neat. They don't, uh, Volvos don't come with that pull thing, uh, the pull cord anymore. Not that I've ever seen anytime soon. What I like about this, you have your uh, radio selection all here. You have your home button. You can just go right back to home. Um, it tells you your miles per hour, your miles. 
the time, the temperature, uh, battery, all this stuff is told to you right here. Since this is an automatic, it will also tell you what gear you're in. So I put it in drive, it's putting it automatically into gear two. All right, we'll get into the automatic transmission in a little bit. Um, again, home button will always get you back to the home screen. I'm not gonna go through all these screens. I never do on these videos because they get really, really in depth. Again, radio controls are here. That's really nice. You don't have to fumble with the dial. Um, obviously, if you drive a truck, you know what these are. If you don't, I'll tell you. This is your tractor parking brake. This is your trailer parking brake and air supply, okay? Going over these, um, you have uh, your four wheel, uh, your, your four, your locking differentials, which basically, in a sense, makes this a four wheel drive in the back, kind of, sort of. Little advice, don't ever engage this going downhill in the snow you will lock those that tractor uh, rear wheels and you'll start to skid going downhill you want those wheels to be independent going uphill that's great you could do it traction control on or off this is your fifth wheel slide we almost never use that this is um, uphill hold which is a really cool feature since this is an automatic as soon as you take your foot off the brake pedal the truck will want to roll back what this does is actually holds the brakes on, and when you press the gas, the brakes release. There is no delay on this, you don't even notice it. It's kind of cool. This button here is when you drop a trailer, you actually lower your suspension. This is our engine brake, which on these engines really kind of sucks. Um, this turns it on, this is stage one, two, and stage three. Make it softer, lighter, or more powerful, which honestly the po more powerful one doesn't really do much in these. It will downshift the transmission somewhat, but it's not as good as the diesels. These have spark plugs in them, so the actual compression isn't as much as a diesel engine. Um, this is a cool feature. I don't know if all the trucks come with this, but ours do. This will actually release your fifth wheel, so you don't have to reach under and pull that lever out when you're um, uncoupling a trailer. This is nice to have. This will only engage if the parking brake is on and the truck is in neutral. Um, obviously, windshield wipers, work basically this is cool so if you're looking at this this is our um goes with our smart drive which is our dash cam up there we have one on us say hi and we have a dash cam out the windshield uh this is the dash cam this is actually part of that um collision mitigation system so it reads the traffic there is a piece on the bumper for that as well going back to this this is our smart drive so we put our personal number in here and if something happens on the road we tap the green button now the green button doesn't start the cameras a lot of people think that it actually starts the cameras it doesn't what that does is it actually tells the company hey he wants you to see something or hey this is an incident happened now and they'll go back and they'll actually look at that incident you could do it by phone but this is just a slap of the green button and and it sends the company a message that, they, that you want them to see something on there um this truck will know if you hit the brakes too hard here's the smart drive system again um if you brake too hard one of these lights will start to flash and then guess what they're gonna watch the video is that a bad thing no because if you're doing the right thing on the road um and you do have to slow down quickly they're gonna see oh okay somebody pulled in front of him and he hit the brakes that's not an issue but when some guys are pushing and pushing and pushing and, and riding people's rear um, and then they're hitting the brakes hard that's what they're looking for okay so I don't I don't even worry about that um, typical air conditioning control I'm not gonna get into that um, radio really nice oh by the way the speakers in this truck are absolutely amazing like most trucks don't have a good stereo system this actually is really good for a truck all right, getting into this automatic transmission, this is not like your car's automatic transmission. How this works is it, it, it's a this is a 10 speed, um, I believe this is an Eaton Full. Yeah, it says Eaton right there. Eaton Full is like one of the most popular truck transmissions there is out there. So you push drive, and what happens is this truck also knows if the parking brake is on or off. If the parking brake is on, it might say drive, but it doesn't really go into drive. So now we're actually in see I, I had the parking brake off so now we're in drive um so this is a 10 speed it has a clutch but there is no clutch pedal when you engage the accelerator what happens is it actually engages a real clutch so there is a clutch in here it takes a little bit to get used to but you'll be okay you're, you're fine 
trust me, I've driven, I've driven everything from 10s to 13s and 15s and 18s and all, you name it, I drove it. But the thing is, this, why is everyone going to automatic? They're going to automatic for two reasons. One, it's actually better fuel economy. Uh, you don't have guys grinding gears and breaking transmissions. And it keeps your hands focused on the wheel. You're not thinking about the gears, you're thinking about the driving, which makes things a lot safer. So you have drive reverse, uh, drive neutral reverse, no park. This, this truck is too heavy to have a parking prong. If you don't know what a parking prong is, look that up. That's actually what holds your car in place. And they're very small. Um, so we have manual mode where I could shift this truck myself with these buttons when, when we're moving and low will actually start me off in first gear and hold me in first until I actually manually push it up. Um, honestly, we just use drive. We don't really mess with the manual part. Some guys might, but why? You know, it's really not necessary. If you watched my previous video, we're gonna move on to here. This is part of that um, natural gas. So this will actually tell me the percentage of natural gas I have in here. I just filled it up and I, it's at 95% right now. So it's almost full. You can see I do have a fuel gauge here though. That fuel gauge works just like a regular gauge. These two work pretty well. When that gauge is at, at half, this is at 50. So it's pretty close. Um, we also have in here, because it is natural gas, we have a natural gas detector. Okay, so that'll let us know, hey, you're breathing, you're breathing the bad stuff. Um, what I like about this truck is it has a bunch of different outlets, a bunch of different plugs. We have plugs here, we have plugs here, we have plugs underneath. I mean, there's a ton. This is a cool feature here. So we have um, lane departure assistance, okay? So lane departure assistance is always on. If you move out of your lane, this will start, the truck will start to beep at you. Now, if you're in a, let's say you're in a, um, uh, a construction zone or something like that, or you have to slide over for some reason, this button will shut the beeping off. It lasts for about 15 minutes and then it doesn't beep anymore. After 15 minutes, it'll reset itself and it'll start beeping if you go out of the lane. Um, one more cool thing is, if you look at that little black square over here on the wall, or I should call it the A-post, uh, it's what it is. What that is, is it, it has a collision mitigation on the right. So if there's a car on my right that I can't see, that light will light up. Now, if I turn my turn signal on while that light lit up, it actually makes a horn sound in here, which is pretty loud and it scares you, but it lets you know someone's next to you. It doesn't, however, let you know about what's next to the trailer. It's only the tractor, the right side of the tractor, okay? This little screen here, which actually isn't working right now, there is a backup camera on the tractor. Since we have those tanks behind us, we really can't see out of that window. You're getting the reflection, I know, but out the back window is those tanks. So we do have this backup camera here that will help us see backing up. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I actually like these trucks. Um, it's, it's sad that we're getting rid of them, but uh, that's how life goes. PA Pipe Smoker out. Talk to you guys soon.